bacteria it, that people are exposed to inside their intestine, in their lungs, can actually influence the likelihood of developing asthma. So if we take the Amish and Hutterites, these are two groups from uh, that originated in, in northern and central Europe and then emigrated over to the United States and set up these um, cultural groupings, right? So the Amish and the Hutterites both kind of refuse technology. These two groups uh, set up shop in these different areas of America. But the Amish have virtually no asthma in their population, whereas the Hutterites have very high levels of asthma, almost three times the US average. They both live very similar lifestyles. They both eat organic foods. They're both um, you know, uh, very fastidious about cleaning. They both have no technology in their homes. But the one big difference is that the Amish live on their farms and the children are constantly interacting with the farming environment. And the Hutterites, that's completely separated. So what we hypothesize happened here is that the Amish and Hutterite communities both come from farming communities in Europe. And when they came over to America, they separated along this cultural divide where one group lives on the farm and one group doesn't live on the farm. And that, that separation of the children um, in the Hutterite community from the farming environment has led their immune system to become hyper allergic. And that can trigger these asthmatic responses in these children. And we've shown the same situation. If you take dust from the bedrooms of Amish children and you let mice breathe it in, they, we can actually uh, reduce their likelihood of having an allergic response to an allergen. Whereas uh, in Hutterite dust from Hutterite children's bedrooms has no effect on, on protecting the mouse from an asthmatic attack. Is there any evidence to show if you are exposed to more bacteria and you live a bit more of a dirtier life and you wash your hands less that there can be any benefit? Or is it primarily around the formative years of the immune system? I would say it's 90, 95%, I'm throwing numbers out there, the formative years of your wow. development under the age of one. So between, wow. I'd say, maybe under the age of 18 months. But in that phase, your immune system is is hyper responsive to changes in environmental stimuli, right? So dust, dirt, pets, those kind of things can have a big impact on changing a child's immune system at that stage. It then gets semi locked in. That doesn't mean it can't be changed, right? So we know that people who adopt a pet later in life, um, so you know, adults. Uh, when they adopt a pet, it does change their immune system response. It's subtle, but it is, it, you know, they do have, tend to have a um, uh, a lower level of pro-inflammatory uh, immune chemicals and a higher level of anti-inflammatory immune chemicals. We also know that, you know, uh, being outside and gardening can change your immune system. So digging in the dirt, um, you know, planting plants, pruning, being outside more can improve your immune response. So there is a part to play there. But the, the biggest effects and the effects upon chronic disease, like asthma, like eczema, a lot of that could be treated potentially by more outdoor exposure earlier in life. Wow. Obviously, this would have to come along with a, with a proper diet. Right. So it's it's not like if you, you could eat your, you know, your Coke and your, uh, you know, your Cheetos. Um, uh, but as long as you're outside, you're going to be fine. You know, you need both. You need outdoor activity. You need to hug a furry pet. Um, uh, those are all kind of important pieces and then eat a healthy diet. And if you have those pieces combined, your chances of developing a disease go down dramatically. Right. Mm -hmm. um, just by owning a pet. If you have a child under the age of one that can physically interact with a dog, for example, the chances of developing asthma across the board go down by about 13%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but is huge, right? Uh, there's a massive reduction in the likelihood of developing that disease just from physically interacting with a dog. Your body is a living, breathing ecosystem, right? So everything you put into it and where you place it in the world will have an impact upon how it functions. So everything has to be taken into consideration.